have long been frustrated by the angling industry's charge towards everything carp. Um, there's no doubt about it, they've come up with some great innovations and some great products, but they're all designed for people who apparently only ever catch 35, 40 pound carp. And this is a particular instance. This is a, a floating retention sling, way sling. Great idea, you know, well, well thought out, well built, well made, plenty of drainage for the comfort of the fish, soft corners, etc., etc. It's four feet long and two feet deep. Not really suited to the type of angling that I do, you know, tension bream, barbel even. Um, so I've come to the conclusion that no one's going to build me one, I'll have to build one myself. Got this one second hand, cheap as chips. So with the aid of my trusty uh, stitch picker, I'm going to take it, take it apart and then put it back together, hopefully, hopefully, uh, of a size more suited to, to, to the type of angling I do. Um, approximately, I think, two, two and a half feet long, uh, possibly three, we'll see. Two and a half feet long and about 18 inches deep. something quite satisfying about this actually. I've been satisfying. Oh, yeah, don't get excited. I'll come home a little later at night. I've torn it twice now, so... sound very good did it <laughs> but we've made a start okay both the poles are out and the straps now it's made, made, taking both of the ends off not complicated just tedious <laughs> Actually, it was, it was interesting to start with, but after the 600 stitch, you sort of think, is there a quicker way? Can you hear my hen in the background there? I think she needs feeding. Okay. All broken down into its component parts. <clears throat> And it's just a matter of deciding which pieces aren't needed and cut those out and then put it back together in some sort of order. The main body cut down and the handle carrier just need now to cut down the uh, the foam and the reinforcing bar that goes inside um, ended up with uh, a three foot overall length we're taking the big panel out in the middle so next thing to do is 
cut the handle down and then start putting it all back together. Now I'm going to cut to length the, the foam and the reinforcing of the handle, shorten that down to the 36 that we've got for the rest. Um, Make a bit more noise, Peter. Very sturdy um, rod there. I guess it has to be. Wayne straps have been shortened down by about two inches each side, so it's just a matter of putting those back together. That'd be that complicated, would you? Two ends, okay. Left these carrying straps the same length, seemed ideal. Show these back in there, in there, in there, and that's really attaching to the main body. going on. I should point out I'm having a subcontract the sewing out and I didn't realise how expensive sewing was. It's a tricky part now putting the handles on. Well, there it is completed. Um, we ended up taking the, the centre section out, which reduced the overall width by a foot. Um, lost an inch on each end with an with a overlap. Uh, three inches off the width at the bottom and three inches off the width at the top. So it's now uh, three feet wide maximum. Uh, the internal dimension is, is th three inches underneath that. Um, 17 inches deep. We need to retain the double zipping at the top. And carry it all the way down the sides. Right to the bottom. And likewise. So it does open up completely, which makes releasing fishes, fishes, <laughs> which makes releasing fish 
uh, that much easier. Maintain the taper down. So nice and wide at the top, narrow and down at the bottom to uh, cradle the fish nicely. There it is. It's been an interesting project. Um, worth the time, I think, spent. And uh, all we need now is a couple of doubles to put in it. <laughs> Thank you.